Red vs. Blue Season 15 Episode 4 Chorus Lessons has officially released, so let me break it down for you. All in an effort to contact Dr. Gray, and subsequently Kimball, Dylan unloads a round into Jax's ass. Oh, how I miss Tucker. And speaking of past characters, we get the chorus group. Bitters, Palomo, Jensen, and Andersmith. Matthews isn't there. Who knows, maybe he died. Probably not, though. The group has some playful banter and don't really do anything. Which is fine, I guess. I mean, they were sent out to investigate this police call that Dylan made. Makes you question the intelligence level of the police. And might I say, Ryan held it together. Obviously, he wasn't gonna flub, considering it's a scripted show. But as he kept talking, I kept getting more and more worried. Most of us know that Ryan does not do words good. But they give the okay on Jack, saying he isn't gonna die, and they send Dylan and him over to Dr. Gray. They exchange some conversation. I know who you are. You know who I am. Those reds and blues are fake. It's weird considering, as we later learn, the stance that Kimball has, that they're not defending the real reds and blues. I get why Sister isn't, she's still in the canyon, I don't even know if she knows how to get out of there. But Kimball and the whole chorus group were there, and they're not testifying as far as we're aware. It could be that they think it's for the better that the psychos are out and about so no one's looking for them, but that's probably not the case. Anyway, Dylan contacts her husband, James Adler. Oh, this scene was so sweet, but more so sad. Dylan, judging by this interaction, seems to be married to her work more than her husband. The first time I watched this scene, I felt like a lot happened. But going back, there honestly wasn't very much that did happen. In simple terms, Dylan asked for a favor, and James was sad. That's all that happened in this scene. I guess the thing that made it feel much more than it actually was is, in Marty McFly terms, it felt heavy. Just like the sadness in both of their voices. It's like neither one of the two wanted to be where they are currently. It seemed like both of them wanted to be together, but outside forces aren't letting that happen. It was a heavy scene, I feel is the best way I can describe it. So Dylan blackmails Packard into reopening peace talks with Chorus, and because of this action, Kimball allows Dylan to talk to her. Dylan, wanting only the truth, talks to Kimball. Literally, that's it. They talk, and Dylan says she wants to know what's been going on, and Santa confirms it. So there goes a few of your guys' theory on the new guy being Santa. And might I say, upon episode 2's release, most were on the Felix Locust Wyoming train. Don't get me wrong, there's still a bunch of you on that train. But upon episode 3's release, many people abandoned that, I'm calling it right now, it's Felix Locust or Wyoming, and immediately jumped on the, I'm calling it, it's Tucker's kid, or whatever. Y'all idiots need to stop calling it. So Dylan gains the trust of Kimball, who knows where the actual reds and blues are, considering she put them there. So because Kimball needs to deliver a message, she sends Dylan, and Jax, who decides to tag along, to the island where... Ah, who are you? Ah! Oh, Caboose, how I've missed ya. There is this small part of me that doesn't fully trust Jax. Like, 95% of me thinks that he's just an idiot, nothing more, nothing less. But then there's that 5% that just thinks, what if he isn't? Santa confirmed Dylan's non-threatening behavior to want to see the reds and blues, but as far as we're aware, he never checked Jax's. So that 5% of me is uneasy with Jax currently. So next episode, hopefully we'll be able to see the real reds and blues, see if they're all there or if it's just the wanted five. Hopefully we'll get more answers than questions. But in the meantime, be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the episode down in the comments. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're interested in more breakdowns like this, and we'll see you in the next episode.